What's up, guys? My name's Derek, and you just tuned in to the first episode of the Blanco Bronco Adventures channel. Somebody catch that guy. That Bronco's really new. Did you see that Bronco? Guys, this is it. It's been one year that Blanco Bronco Adventures has been here on YouTube. And let's look at this thing now. You've seen it from day one. Now, 365 days later and 30,000 miles, and what have we done to this poor Bronco? That's right, one full year of being on YouTube. Hey, by the way, happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Because of the great nation we live in, we get to do things like this. Now, let's look over this Bronco and talk about what we actually know about our Bronco now. Our first video was, I was so nervous. I didn't know how to talk. What's up guys, my name's Derek. I don't even remember what I It was, you should see the outtakes. We should probably pull some of that up. It is bad, all right? What do we do with it now? I think we should, I don't know, tell her. Yeah. Okay, redo it. And these wheels are big and black. I forgot what I was even talking about. In fact, we were so nervous to have the kids, uh, you know, making noise. We were like, shooing them over there and we had them all cracked up on candy and stuff because just trying to keep them quiet but now let's let's check in on the kids let's see what they're doing what are you guys doing just sitting here sitting here yeah are you gonna be noisy no nope. well do you want to get out and go run around yeah all right so first place we're gonna start is you know the powerhouse the barn what, are, what do you want the stable the stall yeah, the stall needs clean, all right? The corral. The fact of the matter is, is we've used this Bronco continuously. Never really stopped from when we started. First thing we've got in here is our ARB air compressor from Next Gen Bronco Parts and Accessories. Mounted up to our Grim bracket. Mm -hmm. It just is so nice in there. And then, did you, did you, by the way, see the way the hood went up, you know? Those sweet struts on the hood, those are from Outlaw Bronco. Then we've got all this wiring that we've modified and, you know, added in here because that's what you do when you have a Bronco. Then we've got the Corsa Performance oil catch can going on too. What other modifications have we made under the hood? Really not much. Wires for days. Wires, wires, wires. I mean... Keep it nice, do it the right way the first time. Well, it's a mess. It's a mess the first time and that's okay, right? Maybe. Okay, back to the Bronco. Second thing we've got going on. We installed a winch. You like the winch? Uh, yes. The winch is awesome. We needed it a couple times, no? Like nine, yeah. <laughs> but who's counting? The fact of the matter is we got this Bronco stuck capital s on the stock the worn winch has been nothing but reliable it has been fantastic the jcr winch bucket it was good oh we're there's just a shooting going on we live in america happy fourth of july the fact of the matter is the jcr winch bucket is awesome works just as advertised with your adaptive cruise control but if when you start winching on it real hard it's it's Lay out the scene. <laughs> Derek goes like this, and we have to pull him like this. And it made the winch bucket do this. Yeah. And so now the adaptive cruise is covered up. Here, let's see if you box. can. You can. It's, it's. Something is not right with the alignment of that. It's, too much Bronco. Yeah, it's fine. Worn winch has been awesome. JCR bucket, it's been okay. <clears throat> forgot we renamed it we renamed it blanco from our friends at oracle lighting solutions they've got it covered those things light up amber as you know next favorite part 
Well, we're on the bumper subject. Yeah. Look right in the bumper pocket there. Uh, Boom. Lightage. Kind of lights, Monica. Rough country. Rough country for All the wind. Lights. Snow's Automotive here in Spokane, Washington set us up with a set of rough country lights. Those have been awesome, too. Put them through some hell. The, the tire, you know, it sucked one of them out of the bumper, oh, you know. Yeah, this one deleted itself and that's fine we put it back okay. we didn't let it delete all that long <laughs> so that's the front end motor covered check been awesome this little thing oh we forgot the turbo oh, smart valve this has important. been a riot this turbo smart valve i'm telling you what it's there but you forget about it until all of a sudden it's just like whoosh and let's loose and it makes you smile makes you smile it's well worth every penny again we got that for our friends at next gen bronx parts and accessories kind of a trend here okay i think now that's everything we got a can and then then air filter in there too but you can't see it here let me show you it's in here deep dark hole the only other thing we haven't mentioned about the front end here we got bronc busters inch and a half body lift on the blanco so in turn we get these sweet filler panels that give us better body gappage again One more also thing. windshield film oh we haven't got there yet i was gonna show all about that okay. well worth it back to this <laughs> so these lights are the brightest lights that i've ever seen there's a reason they are on oh he needs more candy did you hear it He's upset. More candy. Candy drop coming in clutch. Look at that. He's just ready. There it is. Boom. Happy Successful man. delivery of candy. Oh, and the others yes. flock. <laughs> Twizzlers. Anywho, so the body gap filler is awesome because it has the option to put in the lightage. Just a cool little top it off kind of thing from our friends at Bronc Buster. Now, let's go down the side of the Bronco and make our way to that windshield film. All right, Monica, you want to get in here and tell our friends what we, you know, deleted on? What did you do? Would buy fender flares. Fender flares. I always wanted stance, and so I thought we could fake it by taking off the fender flares and doing these fender flare deletes from tire fleet tire fleet instagram good yeah. people hooked us up with these guys and i love them and the reason that we are you know needing to delete it for the stances were cheap and we didn't want to buy new rims so on that note tell us what's behind our factory rim a wheel spacer. A wheel spacer. spacer from Bronk Buster. Four inch. One and a half. Oh, one and a half. It's fine. Standard. It's one look at how huge that stance is. One and a half inches. Holy cow. See, yeah. it's it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> so one and a half inch spacer behind our wheel and tire combo. We got Ford factory, Ford performance beadlock rings on our factory rim and i tell you what we can air down to all the no psis it's awesome then tell us about that big black rubber giving the rim a hug rim a hug general tire still brand new look at that a true 35 inch, inch tire, tire. the yeah. grabber x3s threes. threes because it's better than the twos general tire hooking it up then we got hammering down coilovers in there, but we had to add a little bit of pizzazz to the coilovers. I love gold. We love gold. <laughs> so we got four wheel parts, coilovers, and then we have never broken a tie rod. Thanks to our friend Tyler at Bronk Buster for setting us up with tie rod braces. You got to get yourself a pair because, well, if you don't, there's a high chance you're gonna break a tie rod. You get a bronco hug. You get a bronco hug. I like these kind of hugs, not bronco hugs. Plus to top that off, we have the ultimate steering package, tie rod braces, bronc bushing, and the beautiful, beautiful housing. 
zero rack problems. We had one rack problem, but it's because we're pretty sure we overheated it because we were hardcore off-roading, right? Right. Anyway, steering rack is a bulletproof now. Now, on to what Monica brought up earlier was hidden in plain sight. One of the very first videos we ever did for Next Gen was putting on the windshield protection film by our friends at Tarsh. I'll tell you what, I'll put my money where my mouth is. This is the factory window in our Bronco. No cracks, one little rock chip, but that was before the film. We've smoked a pheasant about right there. We smoked a quail about right there. And the window is perfect. You got to get yourself the windshield film. Now, I think the very first video we ever did installing anything on this Bronco was our roof rack. And I'll tell you what, the butt whooping this thing has stood up to has been nothing but impressive. This is from our friends at Badass Tents. And this is their 21 plus roof rack for the Bronco. This little plastic visor thing is necessary to have on there. Blocks out all the noise. The wind noise goes away with it. And trust me, without it, you don't want to be talking in the Bronco. Only thing that we've got to do is we got to re-powder coat this because the coating had a little bit of an issue. Oh, that's a good one. I heard the crack on that. The coating is coming up a little bit. But that's because all the salt and the grime and, you know, typical wear and tear. We got the molly panels that we added to it on the outside. We got a sweet murder shovel fork thing. Murder spork. It's a murder spork. It's pretty cool. Then, on the other side, we got the roto pack set up. These roto packs got put on there. That was full of water and that was full of fuel. And they've never been taken off. Completely mall crawler status, but that's okay. If we need it, we got it, all right? And then one of our great friends built us a flag mount that goes on the roof rack. Pretty slick. So when you got huge stance from your tires, what do you gotta have to protect the body? Mud flaps. Mud flaps from our friends at... Rock Blocks. Rock Blocks. I'll tell you what. These things have been about bent in half in the snow in the and mud. the mud and the muck and the uck. And the fact of the matter is they have held up time and time again. Now I'll tell you what, before mud flappage, well, we got chips. We got one there. Oh, and then I got into the door right here, rock crawling. We were doing some cool hardcore stuff, basically. That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Yeah. See the rock slider? Yeah. Rock sliders, those were an add-on. Those are OEM rock sliders, though, but we got those secondhand from a feller up here in Washington. We've used them, and they look good now because I spray-painted them. Now, we got to go around the rear of the Bronco and show you the accoutrements back here. These things are awesome. Lights for days let me show you Ready? boom you got a wheel light you got a tail light you got a bmc light you got a bronc buster light another bronc buster light bmc light another it's there's all the lights all right the fact of the matter is you need it we got it somewhere on here but let's take a little more in depth dive we have got fresh on the bronco the oracle flush mount tail lights did you see that? No, it ain't playing tricks on you. Those are blacked out. Check for cool. All right. Again, Bronk Buster Body Gap Filler. That's a white light for backaging up. That's an amber light for runner. Then the BMC light that has got the ever living butt kicked out of it. This thing is awesome. Tell you what. If you ever want to protect your bumper, That's the way BMC light is the way to go. It is awesome. We got two of them. Derek, why'd you go to a flush mount tail light? Well, let me explain. Do you remember when we was on Denver Creek and I smushed the body? Well, when that happened, I put one of my friends in danger and he liked it. The fact of the matter is... We was gonna blow our tail light off of the Bronco because, you know, it sticks out here into, you know, no man land. 
Instead, we pushed, and I say we, I mean Kevin. Kevin, you're the man for protecting the Blanco Bronco. But we did get one little crack in it that slowly developed over time. So, insert the Oracle flush mount tail light, right? Yeah, makes all the sense. Now, let's take you to the place that my wife is thrilled to show you. Can we not? The inside of the Blanco Bronco. Filthy. Filthy, dirty. The fact Mostly of the matter. We, no, it's not just my side. <laughs> fact of the matter is we use this Bronco, but the best thing we did for the interior was getting set up with a set of 3W floor liners. These things hold all the spillage, okay? Sometimes you can get a good french fry out of some of those cracks <laughs> when they hit the ground. Mostly but the I ones. think the reason this Bronco gets so dirty is because creatures like okay. this, where do they come from? I don't know. But really, inside the Bronco, we haven't changed much. We got handles. We got, oh yeah, we got these handles that bother me so much, I always stuff them up, you know, here, where you don't use them. We got four of those. We got three of those car seat things. Weird. Then, I mean, it's stock. We use it. Let's show you the back seat, because it's bad. Look, baby wives. Oh yeah, we got this just in case, because it's not on the front. Shh, keep that between us. But really, in the back, I mean, we used to have seat protectors on here because we wanted to protect them, but that's like two months ago. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look, it's a mod. A mod? It's a mod. We modded it? Modded. It's a patch. It's a we patch. We have patches now. Blanco Bronco <laughs> Adventures patch. Oh, yeah. And I still couldn't figure out how to use the garage door buttons. They come stock in your Bronco. So I just did the right thing, covering them up with my own. So... There's that. And we cannot forget about the B your Bronco dash mount. Dang it, it's doing it again. It thinks I'm swearing. B your Bronco. It B your Bronco. This rail is a buck your Bronco rail. Ah, buck your Bronco. There, it worked. That is awesome. Check it out. OG. <laughs> It's still stubby. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> I heard you guy in the back. Why'd you take off your Sasquatch shocks? You all, you talked it up in the first video. You're right. I did. That's why I would recommend if we were to redo this to put on non-Sasquatch. Those Sasquatch shocks jumped multiple times. Yeah. They went up some crazy obstacles. Crazy. And they jumped Loco. again. Loco. <laughs> They they lived a good life. They did. They retired. They How retired. And they same with the tires. The tires retired because we put 30,000 miles on the factory tire. And guess what? The only reason we got rid of the factory tire because they were plum wore out. They were and sad and dangerous. bald. Yeah. Bald is beautiful, but not here. <laughs> Fact of the matter is when you got sidewalk cuts, no good. All right. But I hear you, you know, why'd you get rid of the things? Well, because we wanted more lift. We needed more wheel travel, and this was the easiest way to accomplish it. Now, what you can't see under the Bronco. One of my favorite things from one of my favorite people that we have dealt with, Talon's Garage Skid Plates. Now... Why would I show you perfectly good skid plates? You know they're good. Let me show you how much abuse we have put the skid plates through and how well they are holding up. These are just broken, you know? Like, they're not even slightly used. I think we can do more to them, you know? Especially in that region. I obviously don't hit there very much. I'll make that a goal. Guys, let's face it, it's been one year, but that's just the beginning. We are not stopping what we're doing. In fact, we got huge things coming your way. There's gonna be bigger of those, and there's gonna be more of this, and there's, we've got some sweet stuff in store. Let's be honest, that scared me. Let's be honest of what we really have going on here. Because of the Bronco, we have developed such a stronger family unit. And also, look at all of our friends that we get to bring along the way. The fact of the matter is, without you guys supporting what we have going on, 
we wouldn't be here to be able to adventure and keep meeting you guys. Lewis, what? last year you said that the Bronco was a hot unit. Do you yeah. still feel that way? Yeah. What else do you think of the Bronco now that we've had it one year? Um, the, the rock crawling. Good at rock crawling. Good at rock crawling. And Dennis, what do you think? Is the Bronco better than ever or do we need to make it even better? More better. More, More better. better. And this guy can't talk. We have been on so many adventures. We've met so many amazing people. I can go off road, which is something I never thought I'd be able to say. Probably shouldn't have done it. Oh, it's pretty I, I cool. I could hear Derek flinching in the background. I was flinching and clenching. More importantly, <laughs> the clench game was real. Did you see that lady on Milt's Mile while we were out at United by Bronco? I did. It was cool. The fact of the matter is this Bronco has allowed us to get off our couch and create adventures and it's all thanks to you guys. So this isn't nothing but the start. We're hitting the ground running and even harder than we ever have. So huge shout out to you guys. And again, happy 4th of July. Can you say bye? Wave. Bye. Say get off your couch. Get off your couch. And adventure. An adventure. We'll see you next time. Rock to rock to adventures.